Well, it's agreed then. The money raised will be used to buy a computer. And that brings me to the next agenda item. Ian, uh, how far down the track are we with the uh, preparations for the walkathon? turn on Friday after recess. I need to do today, sir. You're up to there already. But what about me, sir? You too. Yeah. What about our group, sir? You're up to there as well. Hello. Just a minute. Where are you up to? It's your turn on Tuesday, isn't it? All right, sir. Okay. How's it going, Anne? Well... Mm, it's not, is it? Not really. I just can't seem to cope with one computer in the room. Mm. Not another walk -a -thon. Oh, no. Here yeah, for sure. Well, it's just that things aren't going quite as well as we'd hoped. It seems that one computer just isn't enough. And when we try and do word processing, well... Yes, word processing can be quite valuable. But with only one computer, you're going to find it quite difficult. Yeah, it's a bit like sharing a pen around. Perhaps you can look at other ways of using the one computer in the classroom. Yes, we can arrange that for you. This is it. According to Terry, they do amazing things here with just one computer. And they don't even withdraw the kids. Great. No more walkathons. I wonder how they do it. Come and have a seat. Well, as I was saying before, here we try to integrate the computer into the whole curriculum rather than isolate it in a special computer room. Oh, well, that's where we have ours. If many people seem to start like that, but after play, I'll show you how we've tackled the problem in the classroom. Great. Hi, Carol. I'd like you to meet Sue Hyde Hi, and Ian Dawes. Hi. They're from White Hills Primary School and they've come to have a look at the sorts of things you're doing here today. Great. Welcome to our school. Thank you. Thank you. This is a bit more like it, Sue. Mm. What's happening? Well, this is fairly typical of many of our classrooms and you'll notice that the computer is just another resource for the kids to use. In much the same way as they'd use books, or cassettes or musical instruments or whatever. It does, however, have a vital role to play in thematic work where we use adventure games as a motivational resource. Games? But they can play Pac-Man at home. Well, adventure games are interactive fiction, much the same as Choose Your Own Adventure books. You'll notice if you have a look around that the theme we're doing here is crime 
And when we were doing the initial preparation and planning, we found that a software package called Where in the World is Carmen San Diego was really, really good and fitted in very well. I think Carol can probably tell you a bit more about that. Well, we chose to use adventure games for a number of reasons, and some of them being that they stimulate and motivate the kids in much the same way as excursions. Mm. We feel they're effective in exploiting their imagination and the world of fantasy. They also are very helpful in problem solving, group discussions, and supply the framework and the context for the theme. And they're a very good starting point for they teachers. Are. They also make it possible for the class computer to be used effectively and children can practice their thinking and language in a context that's real to them. Mm. There must be an awful lot of work involved in setting up a program like this. How do you go about organising it? Well, we actually get quite a few inquiries oh, like yours. So we've made a short video that shows people the sorts of things we do here. And if you'd like to come with me, I'll show it to you. Okay. Thanks, Carol. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank Thank This is a story about a woman, a vile, evil, despicable woman. A woman so bad that I can't tell you about some of the things she's done. Because if I do, your parents would be so shocked and horrified that they would send letters to the principal. Those of you who have been reading the newspaper, oh, by the way, put up your hands, those people who have been reading the newspaper. Okay. You two people know what I'm talking about. But for the rest, unfortunately, this is something we have to think about. This will not be very pleasant. I'm talking about, yes, of course, Carmen San Diego, the leader of a ruthless band of crooks known as V-I-L-E, which stands for Villains International League of Evil. Vile. Your job as detectives will be to use all of your cunning and the computer to track down these nasty pasties. All right, let's call up the vile file and see what they're up to now. And we'll find out where in the world is Carmen San Diego. That was quite impressive. Thank you. We've just recently finished it and I think you're one of the first groups to see it. But tell me Marlene, do I need a lot of specialist help for it to be effective? 
Well, ideally, it's more effective if a number of teachers have input, but it can be done quite effectively by classroom teachers. So exactly what's your role in all of this, Marlene? Well, as the coordinator, I assist in quite a few aspects. I'm involved in the initial planning with the classroom teachers and the specialists. I assist in the collection and collation of any resource material that we're going to use. I'm also available to do things such as backdrops if the art teacher isn't there. But most importantly, I work in the classroom assisting with all aspects of the theme. So in general then, my role as the coordinator is to assist teachers in the planning and introduction of computers into their classroom programs. And then when it's all up and running, I withdraw and leave the teachers to it. And they're the sorts of things that we've found to be very effective. But in what sort of ways have you found that kids' learning has improved? Well, in a number of ways, but I suppose the most important thing is that children are very, very highly motivated. The other thing that we've found is that we can exploit the child's imagination and sense of fantasy and th therefore they become more involved in the learning environment and the whole learning process. With the adventure games, of course, children have a definite meaning or a reason for doing all of the other activities. The whole process also promotes self-evaluation. Well, we're back. Mm -hmm. And I think for an air and a suitable increase. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. But the important thing for us is that adventure games help us to integrate all of the other subject areas into the whole curriculum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We certainly do. Mm -hmm. Please have a wander around the classroom and look at what the children are doing. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. What are you doing? A research on America. Right. And why have you chosen America? Because America was the last place we landed on when World's come to San Diego on the um, computer. We went to London. Where do you want to go now? I don't know. Go to Marketplace for the Venus. Marketplace. How do you know when to leave and come back to the computer? Um. When you finish the book of it, you have to come back. Like, if you land in a country, you have to finish, you have to get the booklet, and if the booklet's out, someone, if someone else is working on a book of it, you get a different booklet. Right, right. You can, and when you finish it, you come back on the computer. How do you decide what, which one you're going to do? Like, investigate? Um, yeah. I have location clues. Yeah, location oh. clues. Mexican food. It said it, it says up there. Look, fast Eddie, he was one of the things. Mexican. You put pictures down in So you're following him around the world? Yeah. yeah. where you landed in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Right. First we'll put lollies in them and then we'll smash them and then everybody can get lollies. Why are you making pancakes? How does that fit in with the adventure game? Oh, because we landed on France and it's one of our projects what we have to do. Yeah. And, and what happens to the story when it's finished? We show it to the class and the teachers. Right. So what do you do when you finished, you know, writing your story with Egypt? We go on the computer. And what the computer tells you? And we need to go? No, um, we type in something and if we catch the criminal, um, we go on, we keep on going and he gets in jail. Oh. 
and then we stop and we go into we go um we land in the land. I investigate now and catch her. But I know where she is. She's in this place.